Uh, these are specimens of uh, a family known as cercopids, or the frog hoppers, related, related to leaf hoppers and cicadas. If crawling or flying or hopping bugs bug you, um, a lot of these are tropical. These ones here are from uh, Bolivia and Colombia. You can see the label there. You won't be comfortable here. There are 1.2 million bugs. It's a storehouse of bio, biodiversity. This is the only place in North Carolina where we have records of the insect biodiversity of the state. These rooms on the top floor of Gardner Hall on NC State's campus are officially called North Carolina State University's Insect Museum. So every specimen bears a label which tells you where and when it was collected. By looking at that, you can see what the distribution, the geographical distribution, and also the seasonal distribution of insects. Insects are everywhere, but not all insects are everywhere. But it's not your typical museum. Robert Blinn is the collection manager. The specimens can be used as a research tool and an identification tool for, to help identify potential pest insects. The truth is, most of these cabinets are closed most of the time. It's like a library. Most of the books just sit there. They're never really, they're not used. But every once in a while, somebody checks out that book. Every once in a while, somebody wants to borrow this stuff. Um, and then who knows? So in the rows and rows of cabinets, you'll find big bugs, bigger bugs, really, really big bugs. This is the Hercules beetle from South America. The Hercules beetle? Hercules beetle. Why Hercules? I guess because it's big. There are armored bugs, bugs with pretty wings, bugs with long legs, bugs with little legs and big wings, bugs with stripes, bugs with lots of colors. These are uh, in the family Regivia, a particular subfamily. Most of them are ground dwelling. Not all insects, in fact most, are not big colorful things. Uh, most are relatively small, rather cryptic in coloration. Most insects don't want to be seen. This is the oldest bug. It's a bee. The label says WT 1882. That's Washington Territory 1882. Washington wasn't a state yet. We function sort of as a storage facility for insects that, that are collected you know, all over North Carolina, also across the world. We also have holdings from, from exotic places. It's important to have these kind of historical collections that have been you know, sort of amassed over the years to keep track of distribution records, for example, where a particular species would occur. Say temperatures are rising two degrees for a little insect, that might make a difference, and then the distributions might shift over time, even over a period of 100 years, that can happen. Scientists come from all over the world to study the bug collection. The museum gets its bugs from individuals who donate their private collection. If you would look at these under a microscope, measure them, you would see that they are not all exactly the same within a particular species. There is variation. There is a little difference in the, the pattern of the colors and the whatever pattern there is on the body and in the size. Uh, and without having a large number to look at, you would not necessarily see that. Again, to get that distribution of specimens, um, they're not all collected at the same place. They're not all collected at the same time. Um, and museums just want to be big. Collections just want to be big. Now, do we have too many of certain species? Or do we have enough? Probably, probably. But there's plenty of examples where we'll, we only have one or two specimens of a particular species. And, we, and it would be nice to have more.